What's up guys? Um, it's Lazy here, bringing you another gameplay and commentary. Um, this is going to be a ranked gameplay. I know I said in the last video that I would also be doing ranked gameplays. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be doing, like, uh, you know, ranked Guardian or ranked Capture the Leader or, or Warzone. Um... Probably not King of the Hill either, honestly. Rank King of the Hill is not that fun to me. I'm not really a fan of the whole Team Cross playstyle. I know it's effective, and I know it's heavily respected in a lot of the community, but I don't personally respect it, to be honest with you. Um, but as far as... Uh, Execution would probably be the main playlist that I'll enjoy playing on ranked. Um, a lot of the time you get to play against some, you know, pretty good players. And to me, you know, that that's what I like to do. I like to test how uh, skilled I am, you know, against the best of the best. And now, this is a pretty good gameplay. Um, I pull out MVP and I do pretty well throughout the gameplay. But uh, let me tell you, I don't always do this well. You know, a lot of the time, you know, I'll break even or I'll barely go positive or barely go negative. That's just kind of how it goes in ranked. You know, if, uh, if you don't play with a full team, uh, even if you do play with a full team sometimes, if it's just people that you're playing with and uh, you don't really play with them all the time, then you don't really have a synergy going. And, you know, everybody's not thinking the same way. <clears throat> people don't do call outs as well but to me really it's just you know I like to play gears I like to play with friends and have fun um, you know I was playing with a guy on my friends list uh, he's reacting this gameplay and, and you know he didn't really do too well he said he had been playing Call of Duty a lot lately which is understandable but you know I know from my personal experiences that he is a pretty good player but uh you know, it, it is what it is, but uh, I do well in the gameplay, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, also, um, you know, uh, what kind of inspired me to make videos like this is, uh, you know, I watch a lot of gears, you know, as far as I watch a lot of streams on Twitch. I try to watch a lot of YouTube videos when I have time. Um, one of the guys I've been watching for a long time, I'm sure you guys have heard of, it's uh, Arctic from ZYN. He's one of my favorite Gears gameplay commentators. Just because, you know, he's down to earth. He's not a super douchebag like a lot of these guys. And, uh, you know, it just feels real whenever he's talking to his viewers. It doesn't feel like he's trying to make himself seem like he's amazing or, you know, or, or that he's better than this or better than that. You know, and that's appreciated to a player like me because... You know, the elitism in this community, you know, it's really hard to swallow for a new player. You know, you try to get better, and you want to get better, but a lot of people, you know, if you're if you're even just slightly less skilled than they are, then they put you down like you're a piece of trash, and I don't personally agree with it, so, you know, a lot of the people on YouTube who, you know, they love to refer to people as kids, you know, and, you know, there are kids that play this game, but not everybody that you beat in a video game is to be called a kid, you know, that's, that's not, I don't, I don't believe that that's right, you know, but I mean, people are going to do what they're going to do, but I tend to watch content where people are more down to earth, they're, you know, they're more mature, but they're also skilled at the same time, and they know what they're talking about. Another one of my, uh, favorite guys to watch. I found out through one of Arctic's videos is uh, his channel. Uh, I believe it's called Modded Talent. But uh, guy is a beast. You know, I mean, he's got some amazing videos up, clutch videos. You know, a, a lot of things that are just straight up more montage worthy than a lot of what you see on YouTube. Um, you know, my goal is to become a player like that at some point. You know? But uh, you know, I, I believe I said it in my first video, you know, I'm not a veteran on this game. I didn't start with Gears 1, you know, and play through it, and I didn't really play Gears 2 that much. I did play Horde mode, but I wasn't good online. So Gears 3 is really the, the first game I've taken the time to, you know, get pretty good at. And 
you know, really enjoy, I guess, for what it is. Um, you know, uh, it, it is one of my favorite games, hands down. You know, if not the favorite game. I mean, I put more time into Gears than any other game. And it hasn't been like that for me, you know. I, I wasn't even always a gamer. I didn't even get an Xbox 360 until after I graduated high school. So, I mean, for Gears to impact me this much, I mean, there's got to be something to it. So I'm going to stick with it, you know. Um... Uh, I don't know, uh, lately, have you guys noticed, I mean, uh, maybe leave some comments and see if you guys have been experiencing the same thing, but it, it seems like for at least the last two days or so that the servers are down or gone, I'm not really sure, but I've been having some really, really laggy matches, some crazy shit's been going on. I mean, you can even watch in this gameplay and there's some spots where... You know, I might try to slide to a cover or something like that, and, and it's like, it's glitchy. You know, it doesn't, it's like it doesn't register it correctly or something. And it, it really makes it hard to enjoy this game as much when it, uh, when it's really laggy, you know. And, you know, you know you, I didn't get in this gameplay too much, but it has been happening a lot lately. But when you, you know, the whole sponging thing, and I know a lot of people, you know, they try to be like, oh, you know, well, you're just not that accurate. You missed your shot. I didn't. I didn't eat that. And you know, a lot of the times, that is true. But one thing I've noticed since I've been able to record my gameplay is sometimes that's not true. You know, sometimes you legitimately do shoot people, and they, it just doesn't matter. You know, they run through it and they kill you, and it's just something that you kind of have to deal with, I guess. You know, but hopefully. Uh, it's only been pretty bad for like about two days now, so I'm hoping it clears up. Um, you know, it was actually kind of tough to get a good uh, ranked gameplay for you guys. Uh, you know, I had to play quite a few matches, and uh, I got lucky and got into this. This was probably the least laggy lobby that I got into uh, today. And uh, so I was glad that I was at least able to get, you know, a good ranked gameplay for you guys. And, uh, and get that up. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'm just kind of wondering if anyone else is experiencing the whole the lag issue or any sponging, you know. And, and, you know, and what I mean by sponging is, you know, not if you shot somebody in the shoulder and, you know, their arm went back and then they killed you. I mean, you know, just blatant, you know, they're right in front of you and you scope in for like a pop shot and... You know, it's like all four reticles of your nature uh, around the person, you know, right around their head. And you shoot, and, you, and they scream at you, and, and then you get destroyed. Those, that's the times that it bothers me. You know, other times I feel like I should have been more accurate, but... I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping to get into contact with other players uh, similar to myself, maybe that started with Gears 3, or maybe you started late in Gears 2, but, you know, uh, a lot of players like me get cast out, you know, when it comes to, uh, like I was saying earlier, the elitism. You know, I don't have, you know, an amazing kill-to-death ratio, I don't have amazing win-to-loss ratios, and the reason is because I was terrible for such a long time, you know, and it's like, when you start with a game like this and you play it as much as I did and you're terrible, you, you get, I mean, your your kill to death ratio and your win to loss just gets demolished. I mean, it just gets destroyed and it's so far down that there's not really much hope in bringing it back up, you know, which, you know, to me it's whatever. I don't want to judge a player by their kill to death ratio or, or their win to loss. You know, I don't feel like it's an accurate judgment. I feel like... The kind of person I want to play with is somebody who communicates, and what I mean by communicates is not only do they do call-outs and things like that when it's necessary in a tough match, but also communicates as far as, you know, you can get along with them, you can relate to them on, you know, on a real level, you know, just like you would with somebody in person if you were their friend, and that's the kind of people I like to play with, because it, it brings more enjoyment to the game, and it brings more enjoyment to me as well as who I'm playing with, if it's played like that. And I'm sure that if you've played this game for long enough, then you know as well as I do that the better the mood you're in while you're playing this game, the better you're going to do. You're going to put up better scores if you're in a better mood, and that's just how it is. 
you know, there's days where I'll get on this game, and if I'm in a really good mood, and I'm playing with some of my best friends on Xbox Live, you know, I'll go into in the matches, and it, it's like everything gets destroyed in my path, and it just makes you feel so great, and when you're already in a good mood, that just makes it even better, you know, and, and that's really what keeps me coming back to this game, you know, despite laggy matches, or despite douchebaggy people, you know, I mean, it, things like that, you know, there's always going to be people like that in any game, and you just have to deal with it, but, you know, I'm trying to, uh, pretty much just find people similar to how I am, you know, you're pretty good at the game, you like playing it, you like playing with people that are down to earth, and, and we need more of that in this community, I feel like, and, uh, I think it could be a really fun experience, I need to get some of you guys to fill the same fill the same way on my list, so we can uh, get some games in. Um, <clears throat> I guess another thing I wanted to mention was, uh, you know, my playstyle is I primarily use the Nasher shotgun. It's probably my favorite weapon on the game. Um, I tend to wall bounce a lot. I also strafe. I've been working on what's called a roadie strafe here lately, but I'm not that great at it yet. But it, it's getting there. You know, I get some kills with it sometimes. So uh, it'll, it'll get there when it gets there. But uh, so I'm primarily a wall bouncer and I shotgun a lot. And so, I mean, uh, you know, if you started with Gears 3 also, I, I'm curious to see what kind of play style did you adapt? Because if you're a veteran, then I already know that. Either you've adapted the hardcore, you know, game battles, let's let's all cross with Active Lancer's playstyle, or you're really good with a Nasher because, you know, it's in your roots as far as gears go. But uh, you know, for the newer players like myself, I'd like to know what kind of playstyle have you adapted to play this game? You know, what's fun for you? Um, <clears throat> what kind of movement do you use? Uh, you know, what's your favorite weapons, you know, things like that, and, and, you know, also, how long have you played Gears? Have you played it from launch, or, or not, you know, but, uh, till next time, guys, peace.